previously. I'm Shrift Gaming! I am turning this hand into five negates. Destroy hand trap video. This deck's nothing short of absolutely incredible. -ness. Hey, Pen God! What? You're so shit at this game. <laughs> I played through one hat trap five hands in a row and only put up five negates and you're so bad. I tried to. I tried to. I two, try two. Try two hat traps in a row, you fucking noob. Noob. Noob, you're a noob. <laughs> Do a noob. Two hat traps. Do two hat traps, you noob. My last hand trap video will go down in history with. Oh, with that thing right there. Wait. Right there. The light bulb. With the light bulb. As one of the greatest inventions known to modern humankind history. Modern humankind history. What the fuck? Elon Musk, step aside. Nikola Tesla, step aside. This isn't going to be one hand trap. This is going to be two hand trap. Twice the fun. Let's go. You guys thought the other video was impressive? You guys thought it was What? Yo, cousin, cousin, listen. Hey, cousin, cousin. They want to tell you something. T tell my cousin. Tell my cousin here. They think that they think that I can only deal with one hand trap. Yeah, I know. They're they're crazy. They're crazy. Which is why we're gonna be dealing with two this video. So enjoy three test hands in a row, two hand traps. Let's go. Make sure to subscribe to the greatest YouTube channel. On the planet, at least uh, out of Yu-Gi-Oh! And get the, my beautiful Triv Gaming Playmat in the description below and the amazing fish that I'm going to eat very soon. Without further ado, let's get started in today's video. Dealing with two random hand traps in a row, three random test hands. Let's go! Let's get into it, guys. So this first test hand is going to be versus Ash Valor. The second is going to be versus Ogre Valor. And the third is going to be uh, against Ash and Ogre. So as you see here, our hand is... It's a good hand, but you got to bait through the hand traps. So... You got to think, what could they have? You're thinking ashes and permanences. You got to think of what they could possibly have to interrupt you. So what do you do? You do the stuff you want to get bait. You want to bait this stuff out. So Ravine first, and that gets ash instantly. Pendulums can't play with three cards. And then boom. Then you just keep playing through. That's so why you got to play cards like Ravine, Abductor, to bait out hand traps. What's Abductor do? Searches your fourth, fifth, and sixth Dark Worm. You get another Dark Worm here, Pen called Dark Worm. Nice. That's how you play through hand traps. By literally playing good cards. That's how you play through hand traps. If this is normal Pendulums... Replace the Ravine and Abductor with two Black Fangs. And what do you do in that situation? Your pen call is getting Ash into Oblivion, and you're left with literally zero uh, turbo cards. Because Abductor is another turbo card, you get the No Seal don't play. Ravine also another turbo card people don't play. Stuff that also have to get interrupted or else they lose. So it's just like that, you got, got the Electrum, they're going to veil it, obviously. So you went through two hand traps. At this point, normal pendulums are literally passing, but that's not what you're playing. You're not playing normal pendulums. So Abductor and Ravine got you to where you need to be. Uh, now, already past the point where normal pendulums are, because normal pendulums aren't even pendulum summoning at this point. Our pendulums do, because the main deck choices and uh, extra deck choices and everything. So now what are we going to do? You can't summon the gate zero simply because you need a card in your hand to resolve the Orca's combo at the very end. So it's okay. You can't get the, level, the rank 7 up the absolute, but that's totally fine. It's plus when you can do it, but it's fine. We nag a little bit here, needing to uh, use Wisdom also to get into the Nightmare play. But it doesn't matter, because now you can got your whole Orcas going, and with Orcas, anything's possible. You got Boral Savage Dragon there with Harmonizing and Wisdom, and the Dark Worm's going to stay there for when the Harp Horror comes out from the Wand, leaving you with five interruptions to two hand traps. But it's not just five, that's Boral Savage right there, by the way. It's not just two interruptions, it's also follow-ups as well, which you're going to get. So it's not just the best defense you're giving, also the best offense that you're getting. So Boral Savage comes out right there, uh, and you're just going to keep going here at this point. It's... I'm going to bring out the whole Orcas and PK uh, cards right now to save some time. And like I said, hand traps don't do shit. They literally don't do anything. If you're playing normal pendulums, you can't even pendulum summon. Uh, your Electrum is going to get Veilered so they can't do anything. Maybe they're going to get a Dweller at best. But over here, you're putting up five interruptions. And you just keep going, really. Like I said, you don't just put up the five interruptions or two hand traps. You're also putting up the follow-ups. Right? Look at the follow-ups here. Orcas in return is going to draw you two cards. You got a full scales with Abductor having three counters, gonna get you something next turn. You got a Ravine giving you a Distrudo next turn. You got Rusty giving you Link Zones even after it dies because Fogbite's gonna bring it back. And you got the whole Orcus engine recycled and in the graveyard. And that's absolutely remarkable. If you're playing Sitting Strikers, you go Karen Gorgon, which is auto win against the entire format. This board or Karen Gorgon with Nightmare. They got four cards, you got five interruptions, GG. 
So through two hand traps, we still auto one regardless. So you literally got more interactions than they do cards. And you got multiple uh, cards in hand, multiple cards in gray, multiple follows, ravine scales. You're going to start with four cards because the doctor is going to give you a third. And you're going to draw a fourth. So we're going to go to the next one. This hand, we're going to be dealing with Ogre and Valor. Uh, again, another prominent stuff you're going to see. Valor is huge. Valor is everywhere this format because... Uh, Salamandrids get destroyed by Denko, so they, they need to main deck three Veilers without a doubt. It's better than Impermanence for them. Now we're going to go into, uh, which really are the same thing anyways. Now we're going to go to this one. Ogre Veiler, you look at your hand. You go, all right, Dragon, Dragon, Shrine, Dragon Ravine. You're going to obviously Shrine first. Shrine is how you get rid of Ash. Even though we're not dealing with Ash, you wait for a response. You're trying to bait them into bait them into Ashing your Shrine. They don't have Ash this hand because we said Ogre Veiler. And so our, our Shrine will resolve. Even if we got Ash, we got sh uh, Ravines as well. So we're late with this hand. We got Razors. We got a good hand here. Uh, just like every hand, to be honest. So over here, uh, Ogre Valor. So what are we going to do next? We're going to simply sh a Shrine resolve, which means there's no Ash in their hand. Our Pen Call is going to resolve. What do we do? We go into our Electrum. See what happens. Go into our Electrum. Send. We want to send a Jackal at this point. But what happens? It gets Ghost ogre Unfortunate. So what are we going to do in this situation? Our Electrum got Ghost ogre they want to save, they know we're playing Orca, so they want to save their Valor for our Mermaid. Looks like we can't do anything at this point, right? Looks like our Electrum is going to get ogre We could pendulum up something, but their Valor is going to stop our whole Orca's plays, what it seems, right? And now Ogre's gone. Ogre's going to hit the Electrum. What are we going to send? At this point, you want to send a little plus, but you can't send too much pluses. We're going to just simply send anything. It doesn't matter. Something to add back with, with Oaf Dragon. We're going to pen call the Ravine away. And it sucks at this point. It's, uh... You can't put a bunch of negates as so it seems because it seems like Orcas, our Orcas engine, our mermaid's gonna get ashed, right? Or sorry, our Orca, our mermaid's gonna get veiled, right? That's what it seems like. Oh, gonna add a little plus to our hand. We're gonna just a card to discard with mermaid. And what do you know? Look at this. Let me show you guys something right now. Why hand traps don't do anything against this deck? After the pen summon, hand traps don't do shit. As long as you pen summon two monsters or a few monsters, you're good. Look at this now. Harmonize is gonna bring up the level seven. Janky's gonna come back next turn. Look at this now. So those are those two monsters are going to go into underclock. Look at this. Let me show you guys something. Uh, let me show you guys something absolutely extraordinary. Absolute. Boom. What's hand traps going to do when you put up negates on board? How many hand traps can you possibly do before your pendulum summon? Boom. Your mermaid is now resolving. See that? That's why it's so beautiful. This the the reason why orca the biggest fault of orcas is that the second the mermaid gets ash or veil or impermanence, they they can't do anything. They lose. But when you play pendulum orcas, all right. That's is never going to get negated. Mermaid's never going to get negated because you're always going to have a Savage Dragon or a Vortex or a Jackal protecting it. Always. Always. So we got a double hand trap here and they hurt a lot. Both of them hurt a lot. But hey, they can't activate their second hand trap. Why? Because Vortex is protecting it. So would they like to veil them and put back one of your extra decks and stuff? No problem. But nothing's going to happen. That's why it's such an amazing combo, Orcas and Pendulum, because now the second hand trap in their hand is useless. So they're going to attempt the Veiler, but they can't because you got a Vortex and have to protect it. And just like that, you're going to put up three Negates. In fact, you could have done even more. You could have done Evil Storm Nightmare if you want instead of the Vortex. We wanted a Vortex there to protect our Mermaid uh, from going. So here you got two follow-ups. We drew, we drew two. Rust is going to give you Zones coming back. you got to summon Sork on top of that. And you're going to get the Strudo coming with, with Shrine. Fog Blade is going to bring back the, uh, the Rusty if it dies. And it's absolutely incredible. So we're going to go to hand number three. Hand number three, we're going to be dealing with Ogre and Ash. Ogre and Ash for hand number three. Two hands in a row, we put up multiple, 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 multiple negates through double hand traps with amazing follow-ups. It's not just negates. You have multiple cards in hand from Orcs that are trying to give you cards. And it's absolutely amazing so far. Absolutely incredible. Let's go with this hand. This hand's absolutely garbage. You guys see it. We have three dead cards there, but it's fine. We're going to lure here. Hope if we draw a pen call, we win. If we draw anything to discard... One in a million hands happen one in a million times. So you know what? I don't hide stuff from you guys. I literally, if I do a video three test hands in a row, I just show you through the first three test hands. So we're going to put that hand away. Obviously, we can't play with that hand. That hand can't deal with any hand trap. Like, it's like three shrine. If we had no hand trap, fine. But three shrine, one worm, and, and one orc trigger training in a 60 card deck, that's insane. This hand to make up, we're going to be playing with Ash, Ogre, and Vila, all three of them. This deck blitzkrieg through hand trap doesn't matter. To prove that the hand was an anomaly, we're going to play through all three hand traps. So we're going to simply uh, use a lore, blah, blah, blah. Like this, this deck's amazing. Orchard Return, of course, is in our hand again. It's literally just like it's the new Mare Mare. It's stuck in our hand. Now we Foolish, that gets Ashed. 
and they're going to save their Ogre for Electrum and their Valor for uh, or Orca's play, as they should. But you see, we're not playing typical Pendulums here. Typical Pendulums would straight up just lose, but we're playing Orca's Pendulum. And Orca's Pendulum Blitzkrieg through them. In our earlier hand, where we had three Shrine and one Orca's to return, uh, if we had literally any other monster, if we had if one of the Shrines turned into like any Orca's card, if even an Orca's card, like they're monsters. You just want monsters in your hand. Like, that's it. In a 60-card deck to draw those is crazy. It's okay. Like, if one of the shrines were replaced with one monster, we're good. We won. Even through hand traps. But again, that has, wasn't playing through multiple hand traps. Maybe through zero hand traps we're playing through, but not with none. So, we're going to keep going here. And really, the, our Electrum go, oh, is going to get Ghost Ogre. That's fine. So, we played through one Ash. We played through Ghost Ogre now. We'll not play through it. It's going to suck. We're not having zones to summon to. But we're going to do exactly what we did in the last video. You play so many ways into Dark Worm that you're always going to get Dark Worm and Gate Zero. So, you're always going to get Harmonizing because you get, got so many of those. You got 9 Harmonizing, you got uh, nine, 12 ways in the Dark Worm, 3 of you kind of Doctor, and just like that, we're going to do the same thing we do in the last combo. We went through Ogre and Ash, we're going to make our Absolute and then make sure our Orcas plays uh, protected, and then go into our Orcas play because then they can't even Valor right now. So even though the opponent has 3 hand traps in hand, they can't Valor our Mermaid because we protect it. That's the deficiencies of the Orcas deck. That's a big word, deficiency. Trip English, guys. Trip English. Uh, like it's a look at this. You're trying to try Valor. In Orcas, if you Valor Ash or a Permanence, the mermaid, they lose. But in Pendulum Orcas, you protect the mermaid with the negate. No, no matter what hand trap they have, pendulums have always been good against negates. No matter what hand traps they have, they don't have a hand trap that says stop the pendulum summon. You're always gonna be able to pendulum summon monsters, just less, because they're gonna hand trap you. So you summon out a vortex to protect it. Go ahead and negate, and just like that, through three hand traps, because you're going to be left with a Valor in hand, they have three cards to, to deal with your board of Vortex and Double Fog Blade. Absolutely remarkable, with amazing follow-ups. That's insane. It's really uh, absolutely remarkable. Um, destroys hand traps. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. If my first Pendulum hand trap video didn't change not just your outlook on Yu-Gi-Oh, but also life, and if this one also didn't change your outlook on Pendulums and Yu-Gi-Oh! and also life, then I don't know what will. So I hope you guys enjoyed Absolute Greatness. Uh, you are literally in the presence of greatness. You're welcome for watching my video, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to get my beautiful True Gameplay in my description, and you're welcome. Peace!